Hi everyone, it's Alice and today we are gonna do that thing that you're not supposed to do, which is to judge books by their cover. Now I think book covers, it's like an interesting thing to talk about. I'm also really into book design, like I love looking at different kinds of book design and it's interesting because sometimes I do feel like it matters because it's your first introduction to the book but then sometimes it doesn't matter at all and I've realized that how much it matters depends on how I like find the book so if I'm recommended a book or someone gives me a book I like if someone says this book is amazing read it I don't necessarily care that much about the book cover I will appreciate it if it's really good but if it's not great I will still read the book and probably like it and it's fine but when i'm in bookstores book covers matter a lot when i'm in a bookshop or i'm just like scrolling online or something and i see a book that has a beautiful cover or a cover that really intrigues me obviously that does kind of matter like when i'm in a bookstore i can't look at every single book that is in the bookstore and i go by what i can see and in those cases it does kind of matter and I love a good book design. Sometimes books, like the covers of the books, do not represent what's inside the book at all. But yeah, I just thought it could be fun to just look at some book covers and see if I find them intriguing or beautiful or whatever. I just think a good cover can do a lot for a book and a bad cover can also unfortunately do something for a book that is less great. But I do think that what a good book cover is, is very different for people. Like sometimes when I'm walking around in bookshops with friends or something, they will pick out completely different books to me and they'll be like, oh, I love this cover. And I will look at it and I'll be like, I'm not intrigued by that cover at all. So it's very, very different for different people. Obviously it's very subjective, but I just think it's interesting. Now, what I've done is that I've asked you on Instagram to send me titles of books or just the book cover of different kinds of books and we're just gonna go through them and I'm gonna see what I think of it and then you're welcome to discuss in the comments what you think or what intrigues you about covers and I have made a scale so I'm gonna rate them and I'm gonna rate them from one star to five stars if it's a five star book, it's one of those books that I would go into a bookshop, I would pick it up, look at it, and just immediately buy it. This is like a complete cover buy. And it happens very, very rarely for me, so I don't know if I'm gonna rate any of the books, like the covers in this video, five stars, but that would be like a five star book cover to me. Like I would just immediately buy it, wouldn't even read the back would do nothing just buy it if i rate it four stars it means that i would immediately like see it pick it up look at it be intrigued by it but i would read the back before buying it i feel like i do this a lot so maybe a lot of these are going to be four star book covers to me but i would have to read the back to see if it's actually an intriguing story to me for three stars it's the kind of book cover where i would pick it up i would read the back but then i would be a little bit unsure so I would like look it up on Goodreads. So the cover isn't so good that I would just pick it up without like looking more into it. I also do this quite a lot though. So maybe there's gonna be a lot of three star ratings here as well. Two stars is gonna be for books where I would probably notice it and I might pick it up, but I would just put it back down without really looking into it. And then one star is gonna be for covers that I would probably not even notice. Now, this is just a fun, very silly little video. And if I like like a cover that you don't, it's fine. If I don't like a cover that you like, it's also okay. This is just like for fun. This is just us looking at books and seeing what intrigues us. And it's just fun, so let's just lean into that. I have the covers that you sent me on my phone and we're just gonna go through as many of these as we can before the sun sets and we lose light which is not that far away but we're gonna try to get through quite a lot and I'd love to know what you all think of these covers as well because I feel like this is so subjective and sometimes I will see a really beautiful cover and I will just immediately be like oh I really want to read that but then it doesn't appeal to other people at all so 
I just think it's interesting. I do feel like I'm over explaining this a little bit. I just don't want to offend anyone, but I also just think this is fun. So we should just get into it. The first submission that I got is for a book called Nordic Fauna, which looks interesting. I do really like the cover design of this. It's a little different than a lot of other things I've seen. I can't think of any other book covers that I've seen that are like this. And I like the font and I just like the little like windows. I think for me, this is one of those books that I would read the back for because I don't really know what the book is about. And sometimes you will pick up books and buy books because the cover is similar to other things that you've read that you've loved. But I don't think I've read anything that has this kind of cover that I can think of where I've been like, oh yeah, this is probably like that. So I think I would probably read the back of this and see if it intrigued me before I bought it. Now I will say it says on the cover that it's translated from Swedish and because of that, I don't know if you know this, but Norwegian and Swedish are quite similar languages. So if I see a book that's in like originally in Swedish, I will usually look up if there's a Norwegian translation because it's like a more similar translation in a way. So I might do that, but usually Norwegian book covers are pretty terrible. So I might like if I was really interested in this, I might buy this instead in English just because it's very pretty. The second cover that we have is for This Is What It Sounds Like, which is a very different kind of vibe. And there is a lot going on in this cover and it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> this is obviously very colorful, very creative. I think that I would probably... To be honest, I think this would be a book that I would pick up and put back down. But one of the reasons for it is that, like, it says on the cover, what the music you love says about you. And that's just not something that I'm interested in. I'm not really into reading books about music. So I would probably put it down because of that. But I do think that it is a pretty cool cover. It's loud. But it's cool. The next cover is also quite colorful but in a very different way. It's the guest lecture which is a very interesting cover. I would definitely probably notice this in a bookshop but I don't know if this really tells me much about the book. I will mention by the way when I'm talking about covers if there is a quote on the cover I'm including that in the cover. I'm ju not just basing it on the design, like if the title is really cool or if there's an intriguing quote on the cover that would have an effect, I guess. And on this one it mentions bizarro feminism, language, love, family, money, and whatever the hell it means to own or make or be a property. That's an intriguing quote, at least parts of it. The bizarro feminism is what intrigues me the most. So I think for this one, it's one of those books that I would pick up, I would look at it, and I would probably look it up on Goodreads and read the back before deciding what I think of it. Then we have a book called Bloom, which is a very different kind of cover again. And I feel like this is one of those covers that I might overlook in a bookshop. Like if I was just walking past it, I might not notice that there is like a woman in these flowers. But if I did notice it, I would be like, oh, that's interesting. And I would probably pick it up because of that. I don't know if the title is doing that much to me. It's more like the flowers that I'm into. And it says on the cover when sweet romance turns deadly, which is not super intriguing for me. So this might be one of those books that I would pick up and put back down. Or maybe I would actually read the back and look it up on Goodreads. I don't really know. It depends on how much time I would have in the bookshop. Next, we have a book called North Woods, which has this weird painting on the cover. And I think this is gonna... I think this might be one of those books that splits opinions a little bit. I love covers where they have paintings or like weird paintings on the covers. This sort of has a vibe to it that a lot of other books that I like has. So for me, this would be one of those books that I might like pick up, I would read the back to check if it's historical fiction 
and then I might buy it just because of the cover because it's really weird but I really really like it. I do feel like this is one of those covers that wouldn't necessarily appeal to everyone though but I really like it. It also says on the cover a quote by Maggie O'Farrell who I love so that might make me buy it as well. Then we have the book Violetta by Isabella Allende and I'm really glad someone sent this in because this is an interesting one for me. I have read several books by Isabella Allende and I really like her writing and I really want to read more of her books and I think that this cover is beautiful but I have picked this up in a bookshop and read the back and put it back down and I didn't buy it. So like there are a lot of things here that should make me want to buy it but then I didn't so I don't know I really like it but it doesn't necessarily tell me that much about the story and I just I clearly wasn't that intrigued by it but I do think it's a beautiful cover and maybe one day I'll buy it. Next we have a book called The Historian. This is interesting because now that I'm looking at it I find it intriguing like I think it's a cool cover but to be honest I think that I would just walk past this in a bookshop. I don't think that I would like pick this up because of the cover because it doesn't really do that much for me just at first glance. I think I wouldn't notice this but now that I'm looking at it I think it's it's cool but yeah it wouldn't make me want to buy the book I don't think. Then we have another colorful one it's Hangman and this cover freaks me out a little bit and it, it just feels a little bit unnerving to me. I think that I would notice this in a bookshop but I think this is the kind of book that I would pick up and put back down because I just find it a little bit unnerving. I don't really... Ooh, the people on it just freak me out a little bit and I don't know, I don't think I would be that into this. The next one though I would be into, it's called Time Without Keys. I think this is beautiful. It's quite simple but there is a lot going on in this and I really really like it. There is something about these kinds of drawings of birds or like this kind of art on covers that I really really like and I like that it has these like cutouts. This reminds me a little bit of the cover of the goldfinch and I think maybe that's what makes me think that I would like this. I think this is the kind of book that I would pick up and I would read the back and if I like the back I would buy it. By the way I realize I'm going through these quite quickly but I do feel like that is kind of what it's like when you're in a bookshop as well unless you start like reading actually reading the book in the store to see if you like it but for me it's quite quick the way I move through bookshops and also online like if it doesn't catch my attention right away it's gone. The next one that we have is a little bit different again. It's called Rabbit Heart and this is interesting. I actually quite like this cover even though it's a little bit simple. There's something about rabbits that just intrigue me a little bit. Like there's something weird about it and I feel like a lot of books with like rabbits or bunnies are usually a little bit weird and I like that kind of weird vibe. So seeing a rabbit on a cover intrigues me. I also like that it's called The Rabbit Heart, like I like the title, but I don't know. I think this is the kind of book that I would read the back of and I would look it up on Goodreads to check the rating and that I might buy it. Next we've got the cover of a memoir called How Not To Be A Politician. I really like this kind of cover design. There's something about a sort of simple muted photo with a really like in your face font and color and there's something about like yellow font on a green background that I really really like. I don't necessarily feel that intrigued by the title um, but yeah this is the kind of book I might pick up, read the back of and then check on Goodreads maybe if it would it's something that I would like but I really really like this cover design. I think I really like this kind of cover design for memoirs as well because I think a lot of memoirs have like really boring covers and I like this kind of cover better because it has like a kind of like a weirdness to it that I really like. Then we have another different kind of cover again. This is called Tarda Americana I think and it's white and pink 
and kind of weird. There is both a lot going on in this cover and also it doesn't tell me much somehow. I think this might be the kind of book that I would pick up and put back down. I actually don't find it that intriguing. But it's weird because this is the kind of cover design that I would generally think that I would like, but I don't know, there's not that much that draws me into this. The next one though does a lot for me. This is the Suicide Museum. I've never seen this cover before, but I really, really like it. I might add it to my TBR after I film this because it's really cool. Again, there's something about birds. I don't know what it is, but there's something about birds on covers. There's something about this kind of art on covers. Again, it reminds me a little bit of the Goldfinch, like that kind of vibe. And I think for me, this is the kind of book where I would pick up and I would probably read the back, but then if the back is like even slightly intriguing, I would buy it because I think the cover is excellent. This again though, I think it's the kind of cover that certainly would not appeal to everyone, but for some reason it really appeals to me. The next one that we have is Ghost Music, I think it's called, and it has like these cool mushrooms on the cover. This is definitely a book that I would notice in a bookshop and I would pick it up and read the back. I do think it's the kind of book that I would also look up on Goodreads though to see, but it has like a weirdness to it that I really like and I am immediately intrigued. Like, I don't know what is going on with this, but I would like to know what is going on. Oh, the next one though, we gotta talk about this cover. I'm so glad one of you submitted this because I have seen this before, but I really wanna talk about it because it's an example of Norwegian book covers and how they are just sometimes so terrible. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. Obviously, if you see the title and the author, you'll know what this is. This is the Norwegian version of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is what they went for, and I don't understand it. <laughs> I would never pick this book up, like I wouldn't even look twice at this cover. And I do kind of understand it, but having seen like the English editions of this, that kind of cover I feel like is so, like such a better representation of the story. This looks like the kind of book that you would find in a convenience store. And there's nothing wrong about, like there's nothing wrong with those kinds of covers but I don't feel like this represents the book well at all. Like it's, honestly, this is terrible. <laughs> Maybe you don't agree with me. Maybe you really like this, but I think comparing this to the English editions is just, I don't know what's going on with this. I really like, what is this? <laughs> Unfortunately, I think this kind of style is quite common on Norwegian book covers are so many terrible Norwegian book covers and I just wish that they were better and I don't really understand why they're not. Moving on though, we have a book called Native Tongue which has a very vibrant and cool cover. I like this but again it's one of those covers that this doesn't really appeal to me. I think that this is the kind of cover where I would pick it up in a bookshop and be like, oh, that's cool, and I would put it back down because it's not the kind of cover that makes me want to read the book. It just doesn't look like a book for me, but it is pretty cool. The next one is called Gods of Want, and this is definitely a book that I would pick up and I would read the back, but it's also the kind of book where I would definitely like look it up on Goodreads to read a couple of reviews and see the rating because there's something about these kinds of covers that is a little bit hit or miss for me whether or not I like the book and it also says stories on the cover and I always look up ratings for like short story collections because I'm a little bit particular about them and it's difficult to find like short story collections that I like but I do like this cover it's a little weird but intriguing and I like that the font looks like it's kind of on fire in places. I think that's really cool. Then we've got more birds with study for obedience. Again, there's something about paintings of birds on covers that really work for me. I don't think this is a cover that would appeal to a lot of people, but I really, really like it. I would definitely pick this up in a bookshop and read the back, and if I liked the back, I would buy it. 
which is a little bit surprising because it is a very simple cover, but yeah. I think I would like the cover better without the stickers though, and it doesn't really matter to me that it's won the Booker Prize. I think I would like it better without, but yeah, really like this one. It's kind of weird that I'm so into birds because I'm not into birds in real life, but I don't know. Then we have the book Same Bed Different Dreams, which is very interesting. This would definitely like catch my attention in a bookshop. It's giving me kind of like science fiction vibes and for this book I would definitely read the back to find out what kind of science fiction it is and if it is science fiction. I think if it's sort of like leaning towards dystopian, I might buy it. I would probably look it up on Goodreads as well. And if it's not, I would probably not buy it. But the cover would definitely intrigue me because it's kind of different and vibrant and there's a lot going on, but it works. I really like how they've split up the font. I think that's really cool. Then we have a cover that I have seen before, but I just want to talk about the fact that I have a really hard time reading the title of this book. Because it says mother thing, but I keep reading it as mothering. And I feel like those two titles are very, very different. But it is mother thing, which makes sense with the cover. And I think this is a an interesting cover. I probably would not buy this without really, really looking into it. I would look up reviews and things like that, but it looks kind of weird, which I am into. But I would wonder how much horror this was and I do think like it's taken me quite some time to realize that it says mother thing and not mothering which if the book was called mothering I wouldn't be interested in it. Next we have a cover that you would think that I would like or at least I think that I should like it but I don't know if I do. It's called Blue and it has a relatively simple cover but it has like a part of a statue which is one of those things that I really, really like, like parts of Greek statues, those kinds of covers really appeal to me. I really like them. But I think there's something about the color of this that I don't really like and the title doesn't really do much for me. I think for this one, it's one of those books that I would pick up and just put back down, which is a little bit surprising actually. Another cover that I've seen before is Tender is the Flesh. This is another one of those books that I have actually almost bought several times because of the cover. Like, I really, really like this cover. It's kind of weird, gives me a weird vibe, which makes me interested in it. But it's also the kind of cover that reminds me of a lot of other kinds of books that are kind of hit or miss for me. So I think this is the kind of book where I would pick it up, read the back, and then read some reviews on Goodreads to sort of check if it's for me but I do really like the cover. It is simple, but it is quite weird, which I'm into. Okay, we're gonna do a few more and then we're gonna round it off. I actually got a lot of covers sent to me, so if you want a part two for this, if you liked it, I can do a part two, but let's whiz through another couple at least. The next is called Dowry, A Dowry of Blood. I... I'm not super into this cover. It's I think this is the kind of cover that I wouldn't even notice in a bookshop. I don't know. I like the sort of paint over the woman's face, like it's cool, but it doesn't like stand out to me that much, unfortunately, so I would probably ignore this in a bookshop. The next one though, I would definitely notice. It's called Off With Their Heads, which has a very very cool cover. Now, although I think this is really cool, like I really like this cover, I would probably only pick it up and put it back down because it looks a little bit like YA to me and I'm not really into reading these kinds of books. I think a lot of these kinds of books have amazing covers, but I don't actually like reading the books. I do like the reference to Alice in Wonderland. That's really cool, but yeah, I would pick this up appreciate the art and then put it back down. Then we have another weird one. It's All My Friends Are Superheroes, which has this really weird cover. And I don't know if I like it, but it does intrigue me a little bit. Like it's, it's a weird cover, but it's, I don't know. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> this is one of those covers that I kind of hate, but I also kind of love. 
and it's it is intriguing like I think I would pick this up in a bookshop and read the back just because the cover is the way it is but I don't think I would buy it and if I were to buy it I would like look it up on Goodreads and see if there are any reviews or anything like that but it would intrigue me but I think I would also look for alternative covers if I were to buy this. Then we have another one that I like but I think I would ignore. It's called Pine and I don't know. I think that when I've like I've looked at this cover a little bit now it is intriguing but I don't think that this would stand out to me in a bookshop at all and it doesn't necessarily look like the kind of book that I would like to read. I like the title but it's not doing that much for me so I think I would ignore this one. A book I wouldn't ignore though is this one. It's called Tripping Arcadia. I love this cover. I think it's really really cool and it's doing a lot for me. I like the font. I like the color of the font. Again it has a sort of like green yellowish thing on a green background that does something for me apparently. It says a gothic novel which I'm into. I think I would read the back of this and then if I like the back I would buy it. I really really like this cover. The last one that we're gonna do is Panenka which has a painting on the cover of like a mussed up face. This is interesting. This is a cool cover I think but it doesn't necessarily appeal to me. I think this is the kind of book that I would pick up and put back down without reading too much into it. I would be like that's a cool cover and I would Put it back down. I don't think I would buy it but it is interesting. It's a little bit disturbing and a little bit cool but it doesn't look like the kind of book that I would necessarily want to read. I think we're gonna end it there. Maybe I should do like an overview on the screen of what ratings I gave the different books. Maybe we can see some patterns in what I like and what I don't like. Again this is entirely subjective but yeah I do think the book covers matter and it matters differently to different people but it's always it's interesting to just take a look at. I do hope you enjoyed this video though again this is just for fun and I would love to hear your book cover opinions in the comments. I'm sure some of you are gonna disagree with me so much which is great because we like different things but I would love to hear all about it. Also if you want a part two for this let me know there are endless covers that we could talk about and I love talking about it so if you want a part two let me know and yeah if you also have like a favorite cover in the world I would love to hear about it but also like what's the worst cover that you've ever seen I think that could be really interesting as well as always though thank you very much for hanging out with me today and I will see you soon bye